Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add sections to any page on your Shopify store. So one thing you'll probably notice if you've been setting up your store is that when you're customizing the home page right here, you'll see that you can add a bunch of different sections on here. And that's cool and all, but you'll notice that you can really only do this on the home page. So if I were to switch to like just a blank page here, like my about page for example, you'll see that it only really has a header and a footer section. As far as this template goes, there's nothing else on it. And we can't really edit or add or move any of these different sections right here. And you'll notice most themes don't really come with many templates here. So what this essentially means is that your home page is pretty highly customizable and has a lot of different sections to it but then the rest of your pages might be looking a little uh, bland or boring so in this video i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and add sections like this to any page that you want so what you want to go ahead and do here first is we're going to go ahead and exit the editor but i'm going to open up the editor in another tab here for later on and the first thing that we're going to do here really quick is create a test page so i'm going to go to pages here add page and just create test and you'll notice here that we have theme templates here default page and contact is the only one that comes with the debut theme right here and what we're going to have to do here to add sections to any page we want is to create a new theme template which we're going to actually have to do by going into the theme editor and editing some code but it's actually really easy and i'm going to show you the exact code you need to use so it won't be that hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save this test page really quick. And then I'm gonna go over here to online store and I'm gonna open this in a new tab to keep the pages open for later. And what we're gonna go ahead and do here first, before we actually edit the code, we're going to first just make sure you duplicate your theme just in case you accidentally uh, misclick on something and you mess up something within the theme. You just wanna make sure you duplicate it so that way uh, that mistake can immediately be erased. So once you duplicate your theme, we're gonna go down here to edit code. And what I'm going to do now is show you how you can go ahead and create a new template. So we can see right here, we have different templates here. And we can see that if we go down here to page, we can see we only have two page templates. We have the contact and then just regular page.liquid. And depending on what theme you're using, you may have more or less um, page templates. So what we want to go ahead and do here is just click on add new template and we're going to make it a page and I'm going to just name it test and I'm going to click create template and what we're going to go ahead and do is whatever code is in here already I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it and what I'm going to go ahead and do now is scroll down here to sections and open this up and we're going to use this as a reference right here. So these are all the different sections that are available within your theme here. And we can add these sections into our page template with this simple code right here. So this is going to be the code. I will provide it in the description as well. So all it is, is the curly bracket, a percentage sign, space, and then type section. And then you're gonna put a quote, a single quote, and then you're going to go ahead and find a template down here that you want to go ahead and add in. So let's say I just want to go ahead and add in a rich text section. I would just type rich text, just like it says down there. Close the quote, do another space, do a percentage sign, and close it with another curly quote. And that's it. And you'll notice down here that what we're putting in between the quotes is going to be whatever text comes before the dot liquid so we've went ahead and added a rich text section in here so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste two more just so that way we have just that way we don't have to type all of this out once again so let's say now i wanted to go ahead and add in instead of a rich text we wanted to add in newsletter so i could type in newsletter and let's say we wanted to add in a map so I could type in map and we could go ahead and add in a bunch of different ones if we wanted to but one thing you'll notice is that certain ones won't actually work when you do this method and certain ones will so you can go ahead and test out um, different ones so for example I know one of these I know this one right here won't work 
so I'm going to go ahead and use that now just to show you what that will look like. So once we go ahead and put in these sections, we're going to click save. And keep in mind that the order in which the sections are here in the code is the order in which they're going to show up on the template. So now that we've saved this template, we're going to come back over to pages and click refresh. And then we can come down here to templates, theme template. And we'll see here that our new template we just created test now it shows up. So we're going to go ahead and um, switch this template to test. But actually really quick, first I'm going to open up the default page right here just to show you what that looks like. So we can see this is the blank page template we already have. And now once I switch that to test, I'm going to go ahead and click save, refresh this page. And now we can see that we have a couple of things showing up on our template. So this is the rich text section. So this is rich text right here. And then we have the newsletter section right here. And then we have the map section right here. And then you can see, this is what I was telling you right here. We see liquid error. So we can see that we cannot add the collections product template. So this collection template, we cannot add that um, in this particular manner. So that's why I wanted to show you one that wouldn't work because certain ones over here just are not going to work with this method and certain ones will. So you'll have to go ahead and split test depending on which sections you're looking for. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this page in the editor. So if we come over here to the editor, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this test page in the editor. And now we can see we have our sections here over on the left. Now, one thing you'll notice is that you won't be able to drag and drop this like on the home page. And this is because we manually created this template. So if you wanna actually go and change the order of these, you have to actually change the order of the sections here in the code. So if I wanted the map on top of newsletter, I'd have to go ahead and do that. And then I'd have to click save. Now I would recommend that before you make changes in the code that you make sure and back up all of your content here that you have. So let's say you have a bunch of text in here. Before you go ahead and move the text section, make sure that you go ahead and actually save this text like in a separate document or something, just in case sometimes there's a glitch where when you move the sections around, the content will actually disappear. So you wanna make sure you don't actually run into that issue. So this is how you can go ahead and add sections to pretty much any page on your Shopify store. And like I said, you can go ahead and look through all these different sections to go ahead and figure out which ones will work which in the case these three do and which ones don't work in the case this one doesn't. And since that one doesn't, I would just go ahead and get rid of it and then click save. And if I came over here and refreshed once again, it's gone. If I come over here and refresh on the editor, we will see here once it loads up that it is gone. And then you can edit these just like any other section you normally would. You can just type anything and you'll see that it goes ahead and shows up right here. So that's how you can go ahead and add custom sections in your pages in your Shopify store. So if you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.